Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Another Code Recollection. Today we're taking on Chapter 5 of Lost Memories. So let's see what's going on. We ended off in a, that freak's house. Uh, chapter 5, Silent Clock Tower. It may be silent, but it is also deadly. Uh-oh, her again. What's she doing here? What's the problem? I asked her to come. So did I. Ugh, why? Strength in numbers, right? Strength? Someone has been missing practice lately. Tommy and I want to know what's going on. It's an intervention. We thought we might need some backup. Today on intervention, someone who doesn't have an addiction. Excuse me? Ashley knows all about music practice. Which we thought might help. I don't think it was a good idea to invite Ashley along, but okay. Right? Uh, sure. Oh, you're all friends now? Give me a break. Elizabeth, we're serious. What's going on? Why'd you stop coming? Ugh. Is there something wrong with your voice? Do you not like the song? So, it's that you're jealous of my style. Well, I gotta admit it, you know. Uh, Janet does have a nice style. You know, I, I like, and like, uh, I mean, sorry, but Liz, you've got a, I don't know, typical rich girl outfit. Or sorry. You're gonna show you up as if then what is it i know you're used to getting your way but come on do you even care about the contest we're almost out of time i know but we're just worried about you okay stay out of this look i know this is none of my business but just look at tommy and janet don't you see how much they care about you condescending much oh well Pot, pot, this is kettle. Kettle, this is pot. I'm just trying to help. Elizabeth, what's the racket? Keep it down. Hey, Rex. Dad. Oh, I, I didn't know we had guests. Rex Alfred. Hey, Rex. Hi there, Janet. Hey. Hi, Tommy. And you're Richard's daughter? Yeah, Ashley. Let's not make guests wait in the entryway, Elizabeth. Please make yourselves comfortable. Ooh, Can I Dad get making anything? Her... We have some cake. Dad making her be nice. <laughs> really? Yeah. Dad, seriously? Get out. <laughs> Young lady, that's no way to act in front of guests. Oh, I love this. You may not want me hanging around right now, but... But you need me to put on an act and play nice. Elizabeth, listen. I don't care. Just go away. Elizabeth! Whoa. A bit. Hold on a minute. Can you save the family stuff for later? We need to talk to Elizabeth. Of course, Janet. I'm going out. We'll talk when I get home. Ooh, she's gonna get scolded! Make yourselves at home. Hey, Ashley. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Let me show you Elizabeth's room. Um, sure, but what about those two? Yeah. They're fine. Let's give them some space. I don't think uh, going into the uh, bedroom of someone who hates you is a good idea. I mean, not I wouldn't know, but I'm just saying, probably not a good idea. Huh? Don't worry about it. Come on. Yeah. 
Ashley and I are gonna wait in your room. Okay? Don't touch my stuff. Got it. It's upstairs. Let's go. Uh, okay. Allowing us in. Was you on? Elizabeth. Oh. No, I'm really worried fair. about you. <sighs> I know. Then be real with me. What happened? Wait, did I get... Yep, that's Elizabeth. And, uh... Good, I didn't get the names mixed up. Good. Why'd you stop coming to practice? Play update for Ashley, Richard, Sayoko. She was here. Bob, the old lady. Ryan and Ian and John. John Smith. Let's see what's let's more the rest of that before we uh, go up the stairs, huh? Ah, knew it. I remember this being done from the last time I played this. Oh, oh hey, come on. There we go. Rex is worried. Stand. Whoop. So as you can see, the rest of the stuff, it's not going to be in town from what it looks like. My voice, excuse me. Rex invited me out for drinks last night. He usually keeps us cool no matter how many he's had. But it seems he may have had one too many this time around. He told me he's considered getting remarried to another woman. His daughter, Elizabeth, doesn't get along with. He seems to have some things in common with his daughter, so Rex thinks she'll be able to get through to Elizabeth. But Elizabeth just won't accept her. She says he doesn't like her at attitude. Having lived in isolation for so long, I never quite developed the skills to advise on situations such as these. But if I were in Rex's shoes, how would I convince Ashley? Well, I guess there's no point wondering about that. I can't imagine marrying anyone aside from Sayoko. Um... Ashley. Ah, poor guy. Hmm. Probably weird that I went to the dad's bedroom with the dad there. But it's a video game, they're NPCs, they probably won't think anything of it. Living room, let's snoop around. This house is a lot smaller on the outside than it is on the inside. Well, I mean, other way around. A lot smaller on the inside than it is on the outside. Hey. Getting things mixed up. Alright, up we go. Ashley! You're sure we should just leave them? Definitely. She'll listen to Tommy. If the boy you like can't get through to you, who can? Oh, you mean... Don't tell me you didn't notice. Uh, um... Well, well. We finally found someone as oblivious as Tommy. Tommy doesn't know? If he does, he hasn't let on. And to be fair, uh, Tommy's like... I think he's in college, and... Elizabeth, I think she's like in... She's 16 still. Like... I mean... That age difference probably won't matter once they're, like, both over the age of 18, but, like, uh, given, uh, their current... 
but given that Tommy's a legal adult and she isn't, I think they should, like, hold up. I think it's best that they hold off on any relationship until, like, she's old enough, you know, just be friends for now. Like, I mean, I guess, like, 18 and 16 are, like, uh, two years apart. So, I mean, it's not like there's anything wrong with that, but still. Is he the reason she stopped going to practice? Maybe he turned her down. Interesting. But I don't think so. Elizabeth used to be fearless when it came to guys. But these days, not so much. She hasn't been able to say anything to Tommy. Hmm. Ugh. I wish he could just be honest with him. Tommy deserves that. What if he doesn't feel the same way? Then she should just try again. Like they say, if plan A doesn't work, try plan A. Again. <laughs> Maybe plan B? That's also a good idea. Oh, is that what they say? Oh well. It's out of our hands now. Let's wait in her room and give them some space. Sure. Total rich girl energy in here, huh? It's also clean. Is this room for display only or something? She's never cleaned it herself, you know. Cleaners come by. Must be nice being on the other side of the fence. Do you know this dog? That's Princess. The family. Oh! Dog. But Elizabeth's mom took her in the divorce. So Princess used to be Elizabeth's pet? Oh man, that takes me back. Uh, Elizabeth was so cute. Be that as it may, what do you think her allowance is? I mean, she has everything I've ever wanted. Pretty sure her dad just gets her whatever she asks for. I cannot believe such a father even exists. She really hates him though. You saw, right? Spoil. They aren't getting along at all lately. All they do is fight. But uh, top everyone the hates their dad at one point or another. You're not wrong. But it's a bit more complicated for Elizabeth. How so? It all started after her mom left. Things between her and her dad got pretty bad. Topic of conversation. Are they always like that? You have no idea. It's non-stop. She yells at her dad for the littlest things. He has no idea how to handle it. Totally clueless. So, he defaults to spending money on her. He just gets her whatever she wants. That is not the basis for a healthy relationship. Wow. But even then, it never seems to make her the slightest bit happier. Neither of them know what they're doing. I get that. I fight with my dad a lot, too. Really? I think I get how Elizabeth feels. I mean, my dad never buys me anything, but he tries to make up for things in his own awkward way. Elizabeth's mom left? Does that mean... Yeah. Her parents divorced like five years ago. Adult stuff. I don't really know what was going on. So five years ago, given that Elizabeth is 16, I'd say she would have been 11 years old when that happened. Ugh. That's not good. But Elizabeth blames her dad. She does? What was her mom like? She was a singer. Did shows in Las Vegas or something. A singer? Yep. She was really beautiful. Amazing voice. Elizabeth bragged about her all the time. So... It really hit her super hard. What do you mean? Elizabeth loved her mom so much. But after she left, no contact. Complete radio silence. Her mom hasn't even come back to visit. <sighs> ah. What's up? It's weird. At first I thought we were totally different. But we actually have a lot in common. Who does? Me and Elizabeth. Really? 
I don't have a mom either, so I get it. I ask myself all kinds of questions. Why do I have to go through big life stuff without her? Is it my fault she's gone? Things like that. Your fault, some asshole killed her. I guess I hadn't considered things from Elizabeth's perspective. It can be hard. Oh. Ah. Ooh. oh no! Is it broken? What is it? Elizabeth's music box. It plays her mom's debut song. She used to play it all the time, but I haven't seen it in a while. So she's had it since she was little? It must be really important to her. When her mom left, her dad threw out all her stuff. This is the only thing Elizabeth still has from her. I'll play it for you. I don't hear anything. Oh no, did I break it? What am I gonna do? I'm sure Elizabeth will understand it was an accident. No, she won't. She's never gonna forgive me. Seriously, what am I gonna do? Let me see it. Well, let's see if we can fix it. Hmm. Huh? Oh? Let's open it up. Ashley? Hmm. 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 Right. Thanks. Phillips head screwdriver. Flat head screwdriver. Hex wrench. Insect repellent. Rust removal spray. Needle nose right. pliers. Looks rusty. We that's why we have Rust Remover Spray. All right. Princess. All right. We need flatheads for this. And... the pliers for this. Um. Back here. Screw. Flathead. Yeah. This is a really pretty song. The song's great and all, but I'm just glad it's fixed. All that panicking was no good for my skin. Here, you can have these tools back. We didn't even need all of them. Enough already. I don't want to talk about it. What do you think happened? 
Something's something, I'm sure. Huh? Does this open? Ooh, secret mechanism. I guess Bloody Eddie had... Oh, happy it's a birthday, birthday card. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. Thanks for being a part of my life. You're my angel. I hope your special day is filled with love and laughter. I love you more than anyone in the world. Your mother, Kate. It's falling apart. Elizabeth has read this over and over again. It must be so precious to her. Oh, we're gonna get... She's gonna walk in on us, and we're gonna get in big trouble, aren't we? Hmm? This is... No, Elizabeth, no, not Elizabeth. -y. Ashley, don't take it, don't take it. Oh, we're screwed, we're in trouble, 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 we're in trouble. Crap, Elizabeth's coming. What? <laughs> we're in trouble, uh-oh. Elizabeth, get out. What happened? I said get out! Let's go, Ashley. Yeah. Oh! I thought it was gonna be worse. I always think it's gonna be worse. I guess something major happened? Let's go ask Tommy. Why did I bring this with me? Oh, shit. Hide it, hide it, hide it! Get out of there, Ashley! Get out of there! Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned! Hell hath no fury! New character update. Ugh. Hate. Tommy, what was the trouble? Well, we were just talking about the ban, but I'm really sorry, Rex. I didn't see that coming. I was just on my way out when I heard the yelling. We're back. Elizabeth kicked us out. Right, Ashley? Dude, she even kicked you guys out? What happened? You've got to tell us. I just said I felt like she was hiding something and she... Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but police sirens were going on at my window. Uh, I don't know. There's always something going on. There, well, I don't really live in a dangerous neighborhood. Well, I guess, like, some people own these, like, very luxurious sports cars, and they think traffic laws just don't apply to them anymore. Yeah, that's, like, the worst that happens here. Otherwise, it's a relatively safe area of town I live in. Anyway. Hold up. You said what? What kind of play is that? Wait, what did he say? Oh, right. If she could tell you, she already would have. You can't just spring that on someone. Jeez. Ashley, I'm sorry you had to see this. We're the ones who dropped by unexpectedly. Having friends visit should be a happy occasion. Maybe she just didn't want company today. We all have days like that. That's a good perspective. Things sure are tough at your age. I'm trying to meet her halfway. Oh, the symbol. Triggering. Oh, oh Rex was there. She met Rex before. I remember those cufflinks. Have I met this guy before? Ashley? I came here 13 years ago. Do you remember if we met then? Uh, no, we've never met. Oh. I've known Richard for quite some time. He talks about you often. When did you meet? Right after he and Sayoko graduated. You knew my mom too? Yes, back when JC Valley was called MJ Labs. Judd Fitzgerald, the lab director, went on to found JC Valley. We conducted research together for the EC project. So Elizabeth's dad knew my mom. Ashley? Uh-huh. 
Yeah? <laughs> Sorry to bore you with my old stories. What's Richard up to? Is he waiting for you back at his place? Nah, he got a call from the lab. He went to JC Valley? Yeah, he said there was some kind of system trouble. More trouble? I'll have to go check on things later. Hey guys, I think we worn out our welcome. Let's head out. No kidding. It'll take Elizabeth a while to cool down. See you later. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks. Of course. I hope to see you again soon. Now let's get out of here before he gets really mad. You think Elizabeth's gonna be okay? <sighs> Sorry we brought you into that. I don't think I helped much. I'm glad we had the backup. Thanks. Later, Ashley. So, open Prince. the door! Huh? Leave me alone! We're worried about you! Don't you get that, Lizzie? Lizzie! Don't call me Lizzie! Only Mom gets to call me that. Ah, <sighs> they're back at it. This is gonna take a while. Eventually, they'll calm down, and she'll send me some angry texts. Wanna kill time at Bob's while you wait for those texts? Sure. Is that a typical father-daughter fight? Pretty intense. Oh no, the music player. I think they said they were going to Bob's. I'll catch up with them there. All right. We'll have time to return the uh, stuff. I hope I don't. I hope uh, Matthew's not. I, I haven't kept Matthew waiting. Judd. Founder of JC Valley. Let's go, to Bob Food Hut. Bob Food Hut. Do 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 do. <laughs> well, let's return the music. Got it, Tommy boy. I can't believe it was inside the music box. Sorry. Don't worry, it's fine. Yeah, I'm glad you found it. It just doesn't make sense. Why would she hide it? <sighs> Maybe her mother wrote the song and she got the idea from her, I guess. <sighs> I haven't seen Elizabeth cry like that in a long time. Tommy, what did you say to her? What did I say? I didn't think she'd start crying, and that's not all. Well, not all you, you say. You should have heard her. I kept asking why she wasn't coming to practice. And she started spouting off some nonsense. Said she didn't feel like it. That she didn't have any fun singing. A total lie? Obviously, Elizabeth loves singing more than anything. Topic of conversation. Yeah. It was so clearly untrue, you know? It made me so mad. I started yelling. I told her to tell the truth. District Attorney Tommy here to get to the bottom of things. She got so upset, she started to cry. Guess what she said next? She said that I shouldn't force myself to hang out with her. That she knows the truth and everyone is laughing at her. What now? Seems like she's got it in her head that she's a bad singer. Oh. Say what? Where is that coming from? Bob, what you doing? Right? It's so wrong, it's almost funny. Please tell me you didn't laugh. Whoa, you think I'd laugh when a friend's that upset? I told her she was off base, but she didn't listen. Her confidence is totally gone. She just started crying. Unbelievable. That's how it all went down. Elizabeth loves singing that much? Yeah. Ever since she was little, I had this memory from when we were really young. She was listening to her mom's music box and humming along. She looked so happy. Sometimes she still does it. And when she does, she looks exactly like when she was a kid. Elizabeth hates people seeing her like that. I get that. Like, she loves music. 
but her mom's singing is special to her. There was... Hmm? She said something else. She said she'd never be able to sing like her mother. She's not actually a bad singer, right? No, not at all. She has a beautiful voice. Yeah, she has such a unique sound. It's really cool. But she's convinced she's no good? It's super weird. For real, totally strange. Uh, what are we gonna do? We've gotta submit our song to the contest, but we can't without a singer. Should we just give up? No way! We're entering no matter what. Then we've got to get her to practice. She messaged you yet? Not yet, which means she won't pick up if we call. Your song is on this, right? Yep. Give it a listen. Okay. Let's see what our song's like. Uh... What'd you think? That's not bad. Actually, I really like it. I know, right? Rad! Elizabeth's voice isn't what I expected. Right? She's like a different person when she sings. Totally different. It's unreal. I've never heard a voice like that before. There's something about it. It resonates. Like you feel it in your heart. Exactly. Tom Spoon Hut. Absolutely. The usual? You got it. Delivery incoming. Hey kids, I'm heading out for a minute. Watch the diner for me? No prob, Bob. <laughs> Unreliable bunch, the lot of them. I've got to go. Matthew's waiting at my dad's place. Don't worry. We'll handle the music player situation. Sorry for dragging you into this. See you later. See ya. All right. Now to now back to the main to the main focus. With this unnecessary cyclist out of the way. Like I got to say like I preferred like part 1 story, you know, the the, like, the abandoned house, like, the actual, there was actually, you know, uh, higher stakes than, uh, you know, the whole, the whole thing with Matthew? I don't know. Matthew! Huh? Maybe he's upstairs, let's take a look. Matthew? Not here. Where did He's he go? He's gone. Hmm. His dad's briefcase is open. Let's look for clues. What was he looking for in here? This is... Is this Matthew's dad? Oh, so... The, du the suit guy wasn't Matthew's dad. And okay. next to him... John Smith? Looks like that statue used to be a big draw back in the day. Who's that in front of the clock tower? It's oh. John with that mean old lady from the garden. Well, I wouldn't say she's mean. Like, we were on her property without her permission. Wait, so that means she actually does know him? I bet Matthew saw this photo and went to check it out. Well, we have a goal in mind. Let's get going. Matthew, uh, so 
So we're going back to that old lady's place. Uh, wonder if she'll be uh, in a better mood. Uh, as long as we don't trespass on her garden, I think we'll be fine. Hopefully. Let's see what we got here. Come to oh, see there's me, Bob. There he is. Hi, Bob. Ashley. Bob? What would Bob be doing here? Why so surprised? I'm just wrapping up a delivery. Here? Yep. She'll deign to eat my food if I bring it to her. I just wish she'd admit the salmon rice burger is delicious. What brings you around here? I'm looking for Matthew. I think he's probably at that me uh, at that lady's house. <laughs> You mean Charlotte? A word of caution if you're paying her a visit. She has a few rules and can get ornery if they aren't followed. Rules? Yep. Rule one, don't say anything to indicate her age. Don't call her miss, no ma'am, just Charlotte. Second, don't bring up her daughter Olivia, sore subject. Ooh. And most important, don't even mention the clock tower. Ooh, we're gonna have to mention those then. Charlotte has a daughter? A daughter who eloped and left home. Wow, she eloped? That sounds like something from TV. Or video games. Wink, wink. You said it. Olivia had been married before. It didn't end well. But she eventually fell in love with someone new. She wanted to get hitched, but her mom put her foot down. Charlotte said the man would break her heart like the last one. But that didn't stop Olivia. She just couldn't stay away from him. They wound up eloping and leaving town. Wow. Poor Charlotte hasn't said a word about her daughter since. Who's him, though? Do you know anything about the guy she ran off with? Yeah, this photographer who lived by the lake, Gilbert. Great guy. Sometimes he and Olivia would stop by the diner. It's a pity Charlotte couldn't see him as anything but bad news. Must be the guy who lived in the house Matthew was hiding in. Why shouldn't I mention the clock tower to Charlotte? It's a real shame. That tower brings up terrible memories. What terrible memories? Uh, well... Hold on, I just need to get some water. And we're back on track. Water is important after all. Charlotte's father had that clock tower built. Oh! His name was Benjamin. Really knew his way around a clock. Charlotte upheld his legacy by taking good care of the tower. But she had to call it quits five years ago. And who could blame her after what happened? What happened five years ago? It was a tragic accident. I don't like to talk about it. In any case, Charlotte stopped the clock and locked it up. That old tower hasn't been opened since. Thanks, Bob. That's all good to know. Sure thing. Now, don't forget those rules, okay? I won't. Good. Now be sure you and your buddy stop by the diner again. Interesting. So, Charlotte is the name of the old lady. Benjamin is her father. Her daughter elopes. Okay. Well, let's uh, break into her house. Oh. oh. Princess! Do you like that pretty girl? Charlotte Graham. Um, hello? Yes. Oh, she's a bit nicer. You again. What do you want now? Is this your dog? No, but she does belong to someone I know. You lost, girl. You must be. She's been wandering around for the last few days. I could see she was hungry, so I've been feeding her. Princess? Princess? What is it? What are you doing? She's telling you to get in the house. What? Oh, hurry up inside. I'm guessing this one's with you. Huh? Matthew's in there, isn't he? I knew it. Matthew. 
with you. <gasps> so this is where you've been. Apologies, you had to find him here. All places. She's right, Ashley. Don't be rude. Matthew? I'm so sorry. That's not what I meant at all. You're just making it worse. It was a joke. <laughs> okay, so... So when you're not trespassing on her property, she's actually nice. A joke? Do you want something to drink or not? Charlotte makes great tea. Uh, sure. I'd love a cup. Take a seat. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, you were looking for me? Yeah, I was. Sorry, but I found something. Proof sunglasses guy's involved. I saw the photo. Did you come here looking for him? I already asked Charlotte. She said she doesn't know him. I told her I was sorry for barging into her garden earlier. And once I apologized, she invited me in for tea. Sounds like you've been busy. Here you go. Mmm, this smells great. It's my own blend. Thank you. It tastes as good as it smells. <laughs> right? That's the old home. Decorated. It feels so warm and homey. I like to make things by hand. You made all this? No way. You must be able to make anything you want. Oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> this one's father, Michael, visited me years ago. Ooh. He said the same thing. You knew my dad? Matthew's dad was here? Well, of course. Many times. I knew Michael when he was just a young boy. Really? Can you tell me about him? Well, let's see. Michael was quite the troublemaker. I had to shoo him from my garden more often than I cared to. Like me? Just like you. But he never grew out of it. Always a troublemaker. He never found steady work, so he spent his days lazing about. I, I was worried about him, truth be told. But then he went and won the lottery, of all things. That's when he started his resort development company. To think, young Michael, a CEO. I was against him, of course. I didn't want tourists underfoot. But Michael, well, he was desperate to do it. I don't know why. It didn't end well. The town blamed him for polluting the lake. His company was done for. I felt so bad for his poor kids. I'm just fine. No one needs to feel bad for me. None of it was even Dad's fault. The real bad guy did it and blamed my dad. Is that so? You believe in your father. Could you tell us what you know about the pollution? Hmm. Hmm. That would have been about five years ago. All the hubbub began when the resort started bringing tourists. A newspaper claimed the lake was being polluted. Hmm. Huh. You're thinking back? That was quite strange. What was? People loved the idea of the resort at first. The town backed the whole plan. And then that article came out. Crusoe Resort was not named as the cause of the pollution. But all of a sudden, folks changed their minds, got angry. They blamed your father's company. That's weird. It is. Soon, everyone had turned against Crusoe Resort. Suddenly, it was, protect our lake, this, and get out, that. Tourists disappeared as quickly as they had come. I've never seen anything like it. One day, folks supported him. The next day, they were dead set against him. It was eerie. 
I know, it is kind of strange. All the while, they acted like they were being downright noble. <laughs> I've known situations like that. They're all newcomers to me. No leg to stand on. Did you ever think Michael might be guilty? Not once. We had different opinions about the development, of course. But I know Michael. Someone who would check in on an old lady. That man wouldn't harm the lake for his own ends. He was never the villain they made him up to be. If you could remember how he looked at you. Such love. Wait, we've met? You already knew me from back then? Of course. I met you when you came here with Michael. Huh, really? But it seems like you may have forgotten. You said I came here too, but I don't remember at all. You were just a tiny little thing. I'm not surprised. I guess. It was right after my husband died. He was a clockmaker. He had been tending the clock tower, but with him gone, we would have to pay someone to keep it running. Then Michael Crusoe walks in my door, young son in tow. So that's when I was here. That's right. Your father was a kind man. He offered to pay for repairs to the clock tower. It was a very generous offer, but, well, my stubbornness got the better of me. I turned him down. Michael said he understood, but he seemed disappointed. He left, but not before having a slice of my raspberry cake. Uh, did I have cake too? You bet you did. You were all smiles. Aw, that sounds mm, nice. Raspberry cake. Uh, what? I hate this residual cough. I remember something. I had that cake. Dad was there. We left and got in the car. He stopped somewhere. He said he had work and told me to wait. And, and he gave me a toy car to play with. You remember all of that? Yeah, I remember coming here with my dad. And after that, that's all I can remember. I'm sorry for bringing up those memories. You don't have to keep going. No, I need to remember. Not being able to remember is why I haven't found my dad yet. At least, that's the feeling I get. Matthew. When was the last time you saw Matthew's dad? Hmm, well, it's been quite a while now. I saw him in town during all that unpleasantness. He'd stopped visiting by then. I haven't seen him since all that trouble. He went missing after that. We're looking for him. Is that so? Yeah, I'm gonna find him and prove he's innocent. Ashley's helping me look. That is quite the pickle. Now, I want to go to the clock tower to find him. What did you say? Oh, we broke the rule number one. Oh no, you're not supposed to bring up the clock tower. Huh? Crap. Why do you want to go to the clock tower? Michael isn't there. We... There's something about the clock tower. I feel like I've forgotten something important. Maybe if I remember, I'll be able to find my dad. Do you really believe that? Yeah. I'm a little scared, but I want to know the truth. Hmm. Charlotte, please, let us take a look. We've talked about it. Facing the truth can be hard, but it's always for the best. You're pretty determined, huh? Fine. You can look inside the clock tower. Oh! However, you're going to need three keys. There are three keys? Indeed there are. Each key represents a part of our family crest. A sword, a moon, and a flower. They've been passed down in my family for generations. Members of the Graham family carried each one separately. My father, Benjamin, my husband, Robin, and my daughter, Olivia. My husband passed away and Olivia left home. Robin used to store things in the tool shed, but I'm not sure where Olivia may have put hers. I guess what I'm saying is I don't really know where the keys have gotten off to. 
So, if we find the three keys... Then you may do as you wish. Well, let's go on an adventure. Ah! Man, three keys for one clock tower? Charlotte's husband's key and her daughter's. Where could they be? Well, she said her husband kept things in the tool shed. Let's check there first. Well, first things first, let's look around here. Excuse me. <laughs> Hmm. I guess she hasn't been in there for hmm. a while. Hmm. Ooh. Amazing. Huh? Maybe. Hmm. Ooh. That's plus n equals e. W. South plus north equals east. So south is six oh five and north is three twenty. So that would be nine twenty five, I believe. Four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Maybe. Middle dial is three twenty. Yeah. Oh no, 
Well, east is right. Left is north. Okay, north is uh. I'm for sure I know what I'm doing. I hope. job oh thanks let's tell Charlotte right clever old man all right nope so we got the clock sword key now let's get to the rest of the keys Shall we? Hey, Charlotte. Find the keys yet? We found the sword key. And thanks for telling us where to look. I didn't tell you anything. You found it all on your own. Let's look for Olivia's key next. Do you have any clues for where it might be? Now that you mention it, Olivia left something strange in the greenhouse. A wooden box with an image of a flower on it. There's something funny about it, but I never figured out what. Come on, Ashley. Let's go check it out. Right. Into the greenhouse we go. Well, I probably, if I remember this correctly, this is gonna be a long puzzle. Olivia doing here before she left? Well, let's take a look around. Right. The box should be somewhere in here. Hmm. <gasps> oh. 
it is. Hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh. Oh, it's one of these things. down the Versus. Curse the man who invented the gyroscope. Curse him. people in puzzle can you just send the metal letters directly yeah, left by olivia i bet charlotte's never read it we should deliver it but what about the key charlotte's been in the dark for so long we should do this now we'll look for the key right after of course olivia's letter oh charlotte charlotte Time to unravel your web, Charlotte. Charlotte. Find the key? Not yet, but we did find this. What is it? A letter left by Olivia. It was in the greenhouse. Olivia? I wonder what she wrote. Are you sure it's okay for me to read it? Dear Mom, Dear Mom I'm sorry for leaving without saying anything. I felt, like I felt like if I had told you, you never would have approved of me leaving home or of my relationship with Gilbert. 
None of this was his idea. So please don't blame him. It was all me. In fact, he tried talking me out of it. Right up until I left. You were worried I'd get my heart broken again. But I'm fine. I know I can find happiness with Gilbert. It's why I decided to leave with him. But there's another reason I couldn't tell you. I'm pregnant. What matters to me most was to give this child a chance to live in a happy home. And for that, I needed a fresh start with Gilbert. I know that as a mother, you understand how important that is. There's nothing more important than your child's happiness. So please understand, my leaving is not Gilbert's fault. And it's not yours. The only one to blame is me. If you can find it in your heart to forgive me, then I would love for you to meet your grandchild. A child should know the love of their grandmother. I wish you good health and a long life. With love, Olivia. Olivia had a baby? Congratulations, Charlotte. You're a grandma. So it would seem. Olivia, if only you'd spoken a word of this to me. Huh. I might have become even more obstinate. It's a key. It's Olivia's flower key. It was inside the letter. Take it. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you for bringing me Olivia's Oh, Aw, that's nice. Of course. Thank you, Charlotte. Now, where would the third key be? There's a... Right. We've got this. Yeah. No need to keep searching. Huh? Oh, she's Here. gonna give it to us. The moon key? You had it the whole time? Well, hurry up and take it before I change my mind. We won't lose it. Thanks again, Charlotte. Ashley, when you gave me Olivia's letter, I... I learned her true feelings for the first time. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. Never knowing the truth is a far worse fate. I never thought I'd learn that from a child. Olivia was heartbroken after her first marriage ended. She shut down. She wouldn't open up to anyone. Not even me. But she came back home, to this beautiful place. Lake Juliet mended her heart one piece at a time. Then, as soon as she seemed whole again, that man arrived. At first, Olivia ignored him. He tried to win her affection, but she wouldn't budge. She no longer believed that someone could love her. But he didn't give up. And before I knew it, she was in love. Why were you against them getting married? That man came from the city like he was blown by the wind. If he moved here on a whim, was his love also a whim? I had seen Olivia tortured by a broken heart. I was set on protecting her from the idle desires of a fickle man. But the whole time, it seems I never understood. Now, I just truly hope that she's happy. You should tell her that yourself. At this point? No, it's too late. Why? You could just give her a call. Well, but that would... I just don't get why you would hesitate at your age. Ah, uh, <laughs> you're fine. I know that you just see me as an old lady. But age doesn't make it easier to admit you were wrong. That sounds rough. Indeed. I have a favor to ask of you two. What is it? I want you to get the clock tower running. I'd like to hear the bells chime again. We'll give it a shot. Well, you have your keys, so off you go. The moon key will get you into the clock tower. Got it? We'll be back. Let's go, Matthew. Right behind you. 
Well, the physics puzzle wasn't as bad as, as I expected it to be, well, as I remembered. Do you really think we can get the clock tower working again? Maybe. It's been years since I heard that bell. Oh, Olivia. I remember how much you loved to hear it ring. You know, I thought that a physics puzzle would have taken me longer. You know, I mean, uh, that I remember the first time I played this game, that physics puzzle was annoying. Uh, I bet you would have loved to hear me rage what after many, many attempts, huh? Well, sorry to disappoint you. I guess it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I remember, but still. I do not like physics puzzles. No, sir. Come on, Ashley. Move faster. What's wrong, Matthew? It's just... that... <laughs> Is it scary? These are my magic words. Even though facing the truth can be hard... In the end, it's always for the best. You've said that before. I have. A lesson learned from two years it's something ago. something a friend taught me. When I was trying to figure out what happened to my mom, those words gave me the strength to learn the truth. You think they'll help me? I know it. Facing the truth can be hard. In the end, it's always for the best. Ah, uh. she reminds him of D. She reminds her of D. He reminds her of D. D, look out for him. Well, without further ado, let's. See what the clock tower is. Oh, it ends here. Oh, well, uh, I guess that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring a ding a ding the little bell. You have a great day.